in this video we have been given that abc is an equilateral triangle and ad is a bd is b and cd is c and a square is equal to b square plus c square then we have to find angle bdc this angle so the first method if we make a triangle bde such that bde it is equilateral triangle it is our construction then angle dbe it will be 60 degree and abc is also equilateral triangle so angle abc it will be 60 degree so we get angle abc is equal to angle dbe and angle abc it will be angle abd plus angle dbc it is equal to angle dbe it will be angle dbc plus angle cbe and angle dbc will get cancelled so angle abd it will be equal to angle cbe so if this angle is alpha then this angle it will be also alpha and now if we join ce then in triangle ABD and triangle CBE we have AB is equal to CB because ABC is equilateral triangle and angle a b d is equal to angle c b e that is alpha and b d it will be equal to b e because b d e it is equilateral so by side angle side congruency triangle ABD it will be congruent to triangle CBE hence AD it will be equal to CE and AD it is A so CE it will be A. AD is A. So CE it will be A. And also BD it will be equal to DE that will be equal to BE. And BD is B. So DE it will be B. And
now b d e it is equilateral so angle b d e it will be 60 degree this angle it will be 60 degree and now interangle c d e it is c d e c d is c and d e is b and c e is a and we have given that a square is equal to b square plus c square that means angle c d e it will be 90 degree this angle it will be 90 degree so this angle it is 90 degree so angle b d c it will be angle b d e plus angle c d e and it is 60 degree plus 90 degree that will be 150 degree and the second method suppose the coordinate of b is minus p 0 and coordinate of c is p 0 and center will be 0 0 then we know that a b c it is equilateral triangle so in triangle a b c b is minus p 0 and c is p 0 that means b c it will be 2 p it will be p minus minus p that will be 2 p and this angle will be 60 degree and a b it will be also 2 p and a c it will be also 2 p so suppose this point is d then a d it will be a b sin 60 degree that will be 2p and sin 60 degree is a square root of 3 by 2 that will be a square root of 3 p 2 will get cancelled so coordinate of a it will be 0 in x and a square root of 3 p in y and now suppose coordinate of d is x comma y and now suppose this angle is alpha and this angle is beta and this angle is theta then we have to find theta and in triangle D B C B is minus P 0 C is P 0 and D is X Y so if we draw a perpendicular from D suppose this point is M then D M it will be Y and B M it will be X minus minus P B M it will be X minus minus p that will be x plus p bm will be x plus p and cm it will be p minus x cm will be p minus x and this angle is alpha this angle is beta 
सो टेन अल्फा इट विन बी वाई बाई एक्स प्लस पी एंड टेन बीटा इट विन बी वाई बाई पी माइनस एक्स एंड वी हैव टेन अल्फा इज वाई बाई एक्स प्लस पी एंड टेन बीटा इज वाई बाई पी माइनस एक्स एंड अल्फा प्लस बीटा प्लस थीटा इट विन बी वन एट्टी डिग्री सो थीटा इट विन बी वन एट्टी डिग्री माइनस अल्फा प्लस बीटा सो टेन थीटा इट विन बी टेन वन एट्टी डिग्री माइनस अल्फा प्लस बीटा एंड टेन वन एट्टी डिग्री माइनस थीटा इट इज माइनस टेन थीटा सो टेन थीटा इट विन बी माइनस टेन अल्फा प्लस बीटा एंड टेन थीटा इट इज माइनस एंड टेन अल्फा प्लस बीटा इट विन बी टेन अल्फा प्लस टेन बीटा बाई वन माइनस टेन अल्फा टाइम्स टेन बीटा सो टेन थीटा इट इज माइनस टाइम्स टेन अल्फा इट इज वाई बाई एक्स प्लस पी प्लस टेन बीटा इज वाई बाई पी माइनस एक्स बाई वन माइनस टेन अल्फा इज वाई बाई एक्स प्लस पी टाइम्स टेन बीटा इज वाई बाई पी माइनस एक्स एंड टेन थीटा इट इज माइनस टाइम्स दिस विन बी वाई टाइम्स पी माइनस एक्स प्लस वाई टाइम्स एक्स प्लस पी बाई एक्स प्लस पी टाइम्स पी माइनस एक्स बाई एंड दिस विन बी एक्स प्लस पी टाइम्स पी माइनस एक्स माइनस y times y will be y square by x plus p times p minus x and this will get cancelled so tan theta it is minus of y times p minus x plus y times x plus p by x plus p times p minus x minus y square and tan theta it is minus times this will be y p minus y x plus y x plus y p by x plus p times p minus x x plus p times p minus x it is p plus x times p minus x that will be p square minus x square so it is p square minus x square minus y square so tan theta it will be equal to y x will get cancelled and yp plus yp will be 2yp by and minus times p square minus x square minus y square it will be x square plus y square minus p square and now
if we have two point x1 y1 and x2 y2 and distance between them is d then d will be equal to a square root of x2 minus x1 a square plus y2 minus y1 a square so here a it will be equal to x square plus y minus a square root of 3 p a square a square and b square it will be equal to x plus p a square plus y minus 0 will be y a square and c a square it will be equal to x minus p a square plus y minus 0 will be y a square and we have given that a square is b square plus c square and a square is x square plus y minus a square root of 3 p a square it is equal to b a square is x plus p a square plus y a square plus c a square is x minus p a square plus y a square and it is x a square plus y a square plus a square root of 3 p a square it will be 3 p a square minus 2 times y times a square root of 3 p it will be a square root of 3 p y it is equal to this will be x a square plus p a square plus 2 p x plus y a square and x minus p a square it will be x a square plus p a square minus 2 p x plus y a square and 2 p x will get cancelled x a square will get cancelled y a square will get cancelled and 3 p a square minus p a square minus p a square it will be p a square minus 2 times a square root of 3 p y it is equal to x a square plus y a square so we get x a square plus y a square minus p a square it is minus 2 times a square root of 3 py so it is equal to 2 yp is py by and x a square plus y a square minus p a square it is minus 2 times a square root of 3 py and py will get cancelled 2 will get cancelled so it is minus 1 by a square root of 3 and tan theta is minus 1 by a square root of 3 that means theta it will be 150 degree so theta it is 150 degree